hello humans, slugs, red-lipped batfishes, snapping turtles and mollusks for the second time today. So, there is some massive Dragon Ball Rage news coming in, and we will be discussing all of it in today's second video. So just before we begin, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to be the first to know about any and all Dragon Ball Rage update news, alongside other forms of Coolman content. So let's jump right into the video. So, the Dragon Ball Rage developer Idracious released a bullet point tweet confirming a list of features coming to Dragon Ball Rage this year. We'll break it all down, but keep watching to find everything out. First of all, Dracious confirmed the return of the form named after himself, the Dracious form, in July. This is part of a yearly event commemorating his birthday, so the event will be on July 18. On that day, you will need to play Dragon Ball Rage for an hour to receive the form. Next, there is a confirmation that the Beast Gohan form will indeed be coming this summer. This is some of the biggest news confirmed here, as this has been an extremely popular suggestion for quite some time, so I'm sure we'll all be looking forward to the form's arrival. Next he confirms the addition of a brand new secret event coming in either the summer or fall. I've covered this before, but unfortunately there's still little of the way of detail, so there's still not much to discuss here other than the event's release date. I hope you're all looking forward to that. Dracius also confirmed even more big news, that being that new bosses will be coming to the game this year. This is where a lot can happen, we could see a Vegeta boss, a Broly boss or even a Grand Priest boss. But we'll have to wait and see there. This is probably the biggest part of the list for me personally, but anyway let's move on. It is also confirmed that the corrupt form, also known as the Halloween form, will be returning for its annual event in October. This event typically comes out a few days before Halloween, usually around October 27th, so I imagine the pattern continues here. The event also has a set of event-only attacks in it last time it came around, so you'd think they'll be coming back here as well. But we'll have to wait and see. The Sub-Zero and Winter Super Saiyan Blue forms will also be returning this year, in their case in December. Last year's winter event marked the debut of these two forms, so this'll be only the second time they've been released. Similarly to the Halloween event, this winter event also had an event attack, so I imagine that attack could return here too. And finally, Dracius confirmed another new addition to the game, a kind of tournament system that'll allow players to create their own tournaments. Previously tournaments have been difficult to organize, whether they're done by players or admins and this system will make them a whole lot easier to do. So yeah, that's everything confirmed to be coming to Dragon Ball Rage in 2023. We'll call the video there. Thank you for watching today's second video. If you found it helpful or insightful at all, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on cool stuff like this at any point in the future. I will be letting you all know about anything else update wise that gets confirmed, so stay tuned for that. I will see you all in the next one. Sayonara.